Hi, it's Kendra here from Circle Jane. Today we're going to talk about putting a bridle on your miniature horse for the very first time. I'm here with the very handsome Newman, slightly scruffy, <laughs> and uh, he's going to help me uh, do this demonstration today. Before you start uh, thinking about putting a bridle on your horse, it's a good idea that your horse has good basic handling skills. For instance, Newman here hasn't done a lot in his life, but he has he is good to halter, lead, tie, He's easy to catch, he's good about his feet, and he stands really well for the farrier. So he's good about his basic handling but before we start introducing something like bridling and driving training. Uh, the equipment that we need, uh, you can see I have him on a halter and lead rope, and we're going to leave that halter on. So uh, we want one that's quite fine. You can see this one is, is quite fine, fits his face well, it's quite snug, so that it's not bulky and going to interfere with the fit of our bridle. The other thing that needs to be considered as we're haltering or uh, with our halter is that it's not too tight around their nose. In fact, I'm going to loosen this one one more hole and this is a nose buckle halter which makes it really easy to adjust just to make sure that he can open his mouth easily because we're going to ask him to open it to put the bit on. We want to make sure that he's capable of doing that. It would be counterproductive if the halter was too tight and he couldn't open his mouth very easily. The bridle we're going to use is an open bridle and that means that it doesn't have any blinders on it. Uh, we need to, these early stages, we want it to be as good an experience as possible for our horse. Uh, if we set them up for success with these early driving experiences, the first time, the second time that they have their halter on, or their bridle on, then it's going to be a positive experience and they're going to have a good feeling about all of their driving training moving forward. Um, so it's as little as possible. It's an open bridle with no blinders and that becomes important as well as we move forward with their driving training. I've also, I'm also using a French link bit, which is a double jointed bit. It doesn't really matter what bit you use. The important part is that it, it isn't pinchy. So wiggle the cheek piece and uh, make sure that it can't pinch their lips anymore. Make sure that it fits them well and doesn't pinch. I'm also not going to tie Newman here uh, before we put this whole bridle on for the very first time because I don't want him to feel claustrophobic. I don't want to get into a fight with him. If I can't get the bridle on with him standing quietly, we're going to stop and try again. <laughs> we're not going to get into a fight with him. Again, the goal is to make this as positive an experience as possible. The good news is with most horses, they're so startled by the whole process that they don't put up much of a fight. And hopefully Newman is a typical one, so you can see how they normally react to this. What we're gonna do is we're going to, and this is the way you can switch hands, whatever's comfortable for you, I'm going to hold the crown piece in my right hand, the bit in my left, and tuck it, I'm going to use, uh, hold, support his chin with my hand, use my thumb to ask him to open his mouth, just put my thumb in the corner of his mouth and ask him to open. They don't have teeth right there, there's a bar, so <laughs> it's not that unsafe to do. And then slip the bit between his teeth and slip the crown piece over his ears. You can see he's already quite curious about this and a bit of a cookie monster. Uh, <laughs> the other thing that we're going to do to make it easy, and I'm going to eyeball this and see that it's not the right size, but a little bit bigger than it needs to be. I'm going to loosen it one or two holes here because then it'll make it way easier to get it over his ears the first time and then we can tighten it up afterwards. So let's give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully he's typical so that you can understand what, what uh, is usually happens here. Now we've got it in his mouth, but it's quite loose. We're going to tighten it up to make it more comfortable for him. And he is going to blah, 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 and try to spit that bit out. And that's normal. That's what we, we would anticipate that he was going to do. Another thing I meant to touch on earlier, he does have a bridle path to make it easier to get this bridle on. And I was thinking as I was get coming out here, I really should have braided that foretop as well. Anything that we can do to keep uh, make it as easy as possible to get that bridle on the first time. We can do up his throat latch, but we don't need to. You don't need to have a, a bridle with a, a, a brow band and a throat latch like this one. It could just be a strap of leather with buckles at each end. It doesn't need to be fancy. Now that he's got that bridle on for the very first time, what I'm going to do with him is take him for a little walk, let him think about that. And once he stops mouthing that bit quite so much, we're going to call it a day. I'm going to feed him cookies, turn him back out with his friends. <laughs> 
If you'd like to learn more about the next step and the other things that we do when we start a miniature horse and harness, um, I'm running a online workshop starting September 1st on starting your miniature horse and harness and we're going to cover lots of different steps, uh, all the steps to get your horse ready to be a comfortable, happy driving horse. If you're watching this in the future, I'm planning to run that workshop approximately twice a year. So be sure to check out our website at circlejminiatures.com. The link will be in the, in the notes and uh, uh, check that out and, and I hope to see you online soon. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great day.